Suppose we have an English class and let's designate this class as set A and let's say there are 70 students in that class. And we have a chemistry class and let's designate this class as set B and let's say there are 50 students in that class. Okay, on top of that, now let's assume that there are 10 students who are taking both classes, English class and chemistry class. Then we can depict this uh, situation with the following picture. Okay, this is set A and this is set B here. We can overlap these two circles like this, and this overlapped area will represent the number of students who are taking both classes. So we have 10 here. And since English class has a total of 70 students, we have 60 students who are taking the English class only. And since chemistry class has a total of 50 students, we have 40 students who are taking the chemistry class only. Now let me introduce you two symbols here. The first one is A cup B. It looks like a cup, so I call it this way. And it is the union of set A and set B. In our case, it represents the total number of students when we combine these two classes. So we have 60 plus 10 plus 40, which is 110. Now the second one is A cap B. It looks like a cap, so I call it that way. And it is the intersection of set A and set B. Well, in our case, it represents the number of students who are taking both classes, so it is 10. Well, knowing these two definitions, we have a very important expression that relates these two quantities all together. A cup B is equal to A plus B, and then subtract A cap B, because this A cap B is counted twice. It will help your understanding more if you plug in numbers like this. Now, this pictorial representation of sets using circles, sometimes with an enclosing rectangle, is called Venn diagram. Well, let's look at the Venn diagram with three sets. Suppose we have three sets, X, Y, and Z, and they overlap like this. Let me just give you the definition of Venn diagram. A Venn diagram is a diagram representing mathematical or logical sets pictorially as circles within an enclosing rectangle. Now suppose we have a total of 50 students and these numbers are assigned to these different parts of the circles and this number 14 represents the number of students who do not belong to any of those three sets. The set X has a total of 7 plus 3 plus 5 plus 6 which is 21 students. All the numbers inside the red circle is counted and you can do the same thing for the set Y and set Z. X cup Y is everything inside the red and the blue circles, so 27 students. You can do the same thing for Y cup Z and X cup Z. X cap Y is the overlapping area between the red circle and the blue circle, so 8 students. You can do the same thing for Y cap Z and X cap Z. Now, x cup y cup z is the total number of students within those three circles, so 36 students. And x cap y cap z is the number of students who are in all three sets, so 5 students. Now, you can be asked this way, how many students do not belong to set y? Then 7 plus 6 plus 9 plus 14, so 36 students. All right. You're ready to solve some problems relating sets and uh, Venn diagram. Let's begin. 